हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन्फो सर्कम दिस इज ज्ञान रस्तोगी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस टी ऑथ ट्रेस एंड एस टी जीरो वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गिविंग यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट बोथ द टी कोड्स वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ इट हाउ टू अप्लाई सिस्टम ट्रेस वाया एस टी जीरो वन एस टी ऑथ ट्रेस एंड फाइनली आई विल शो यू हाउ टू एनालाइज इट Basically ST01 is a security trace tool which provides a way to trace the complete sequence of security checks for authorizations since all checks are displayed this is a much more complete way to investigate potential issues after that SAP has come up with a new and improved version of standard security trace ST01 that is ST auth trace The important feature of ST Auth Trace is we can set the trace on all the available application servers from from the currently logged in server. Whereas with ST01, the trace will be set in the same application server only where users are logged in currently. Through SM51, we can log into all the available application server and then we can apply system trace from there. let me show you the demonstration this will help you to understand it in more detail first i will show you how to apply system trace st01 uh it's already the trace is already on so let me make it off first now we have uh, we are going to check for all the authorizations so just click on the check box for authorization check then set the filter So we can uh, here we can uh, set the filter for the user for the transaction only for the program and uh, RFC module URL everything anything we can make it today I am going to show you how to apply the system trace over the user first. So I have already created a user that is zg underscore test. now i will save this and then i will on the trace okay so whatever we are going to um, whatever we are going to do with that uh, zg underscore test user that we will be analyzing over here let me log in from this zg user uh this is a test user and i have assigned a test role to it and uh, there is only mm03 uh, authorization access that is provided to this user so let me execute mm03 first okay so it will like i am selecting a material like this then selecting the views plant as the 1000 and then this so it is showing the display material after that i am going to execute mm01 it is showing as not authorized to use this transaction now we will go to the system trace and we will analyze it we have to put the test user here the client name will be the same we can uh, we can also set the date and time so i am just keeping it as it is and uh, trace record what we are going to trace so we are going to trace authorization check first now what it is showing in the background uh, object m m a t e s t a is getting call and with the written code is 0 transaction what we have ex executed is mm03 
and we have been through the display activity and then the uh, the authorization object that these values are getting checked in the last we have also uh, we have also go, uh, gone through the mm01 transaction code so here you can see that st s underscore t code written code is 4 and t code mm01 so what does it mean basically so uh, let me tell you about the written code first there are three types of written code we can find such as 0 4 12 written code 0 it means that all authorizations are okay everything it is uh, passing uh, every, uh, it is passing everything written code 4 it is showing that authorization field exists but the required value is missing okay and uh, there is one more written code that is 12 it means that authorization objects are missing that particular suppose it, if it was uh, like uh, rc equal 12 then it mean it, it would be meant that uh, uh, s underscore t code this ob particular object uh, would have been missing okay so here we can see that at rc is equal to 4 so the s underscore t code because we have already provided the transaction code mm03 so for that s underscore and this s underscore t code must be missing uh, must be available in that particular role but mm01 this particular transaction is missing in s underscore t code okay so this is about how we can analyze system trace and what are the different type of written code now let me take you to the st auth trace Uh, let me first tell you uh, about this. Uh, we have logged in from this server. This is a particular server. Let me show you with SM51. See, there are only one server, so we are logged in from this only. But uh, it will show um, if there are more than one server. This this will show the list of all the all that server. So. We are currently we are in this server, so we have applied the trace from uh, uh, we have applied the trace within this. And uh, suppose if there uh, if there would have been other servers, so we will get into that server, and then we will uh, we would have been applied the system trace from there. So how we can go there? Suppose uh, this is the uh, there must be uh, there must be more servers, so we can just go to this remote logon. And then we can apply the system trace from here. So with this ST01, if there are more than one servers are available, so we have to apply the system trace to all the servers. Like uh, uh, I am just giving you an example. Suppose if we, if a user is executing, is if user is getting some issue, uh, and uh, he is just addressing that issue that, uh, uh, and you have to you have to resolve that. But you don't know about from which system, from which uh, uh, server he has logged in. So you have to first, uh, either you have to just uh, ask the user for about the server, or you have to apply the system trace from in all the server. So this uh, uh, with the uh, with the st auth trace, you will just get rid of these things. You don't need to go to all the servers. You can just apply the system trace to all the servers within the existing within the currently logged in server let me show you that see uh, uh, let me just deactivate the system trace first from st01 see uh, I am going to apply the trace for user only. Uh, the user was zg underscore test. From here we can just evaluate. We can uh, we have option for evaluate active trace, deactive trace, and system wide trace. So we are applying the system wide trace. It is showing server only one server. If it must, if it would be, it have, it would have been more than one. So it will be, uh, it would have, uh, it, it was, it will be showing like that only. 
so we just we can just activate the trace now authorization trace is switched on so with the help of this st01 all the uh, all the all the servers ex, uh, servers trace we can just apply so we don't need to log in uh, we, we don't need to go to that every server and log in from there and uh, after that we uh, we have to apply the trace we just we have just logged in from this server and uh, we have applied the system trace from here only so now if i do it so not, uh, we have just applied the system trace so it is showing nothing on the evaluation uh, let me execute some t code here like uh, mm01 i am executing it is showing as no authorization now evaluate this see this is showing uh, the same thing uh, we can analyze it the same way we are we were doing in with the st01 uh, like uh, result this is the written code 4 okay there are one more uh, result uh, one more uh, written code that is 40 which means that uh, it uh, check the user does not exist this is basically the with that the user does not exist so uh, this this is the instance number user is this uh, zg underscore test transaction mm01 is getting failed with the written code 4 it means that uh, ob authorization object is there but the value is missing so what is the authorization object it is s underscore t code okay so we can analyze like this way okay guys so uh, that is all from my side today and uh, I hope this is very much clear to you that uh, about the difference between ST01 and ST auth trace. So, bye bye.